my cat. These skins are so cool. Okay, so let's um, quickly go over Malfurion as well. So, if you're just tuning in, <clears throat> keep in mind Malfurion is literally a new hero. Malfurion has been has been removed from the game, and Malfurion or Calfurion, uh, his, his brother, has entered the Nexus. So here's what his entire kit is based on: regrowth. No longer heals any initial. It's literally rejuvenation now. Still called regrowth, but it's literally rejuvenation. If I, any of you have played WoW, um, so you cast on an ally, and you can see here they get this icon. Um, it's five second cooldown, so you cast it on as many allies as possible. You see I've gotten two now. And then this is what your kit plays off of. So Moonfire, when it hits an enemy, you can see I actually spike heals for 146 to any ally affected by Regrowth. And you can see this ends up um, basically doubling the healing. So this heals 416 by itself. Spamming Regrowth on cooldown takes that from 400 to almost 1,000. Um... So adding like 590 or 580 um, healing. So that's the big combo is you get on everyone. Um, <clears throat> like put a regrowth on everyone. It's five second cooldown, 20 second duration. And once it's on everyone, um, you can start moon firing the enemy team and helping, uh, helping get everyone basically up to speed and high HP. Now, his roots basically didn't change. Um, you can see you place them in a place, they grow out, still root for 1.25 seconds. Nothing changed there. Uh, regrowth also not changed, as far as I know. Um, yeah, lo looks the same to me. 20%, I think that's the same. 5 seconds, 5 seconds, 5 seconds. So, his entire talent tree has also been reworked to complement this. So... Innovates cooldown recharges 25% faster per ally affected by regrowth. So you need to do regrowth on as many heroes as possible, just like you should be. Um, Celestial alignment. Now, the same talent. They did slightly reduce his auto attack damage from PTR, but this is the same thing that everyone knows and loves, where you attack someone and then you auto for a lot more damage, as you can see. Um, now, Nature Swiftness is the other one, so he gains movement speed for each ally affected. Wait. Per ally affected. Minions. Total minions. Total cooldowns. Do I have move speed? It says each ally affected. That's not fair. Wait. Oh, it's because I didn't take I didn't take a turn. Okay, 105, 110. Alright, guys, I've got bad news. It does not apply to, uh... doesn't apply when you have minions. However, what does apply is the healing. So as you can see, I'm actually healing... Um, going to heal this guy up, right here. When I start moon firing, you can see he's gaining the... Uh, the HP from Moonfire. So this is potentially something that you'd want to look at uh, for mercenary camps. Like when you're pushing with the Shaman camp on Infernal Shines, uh, when you're pushing with the Siege Giants, you want to have your hearts on both of the Siege Giants as well. Um, let's go to level 10. So at level 1, I think the current go to is basically still celestial alignment uh level four these are slightly interesting so we've got the healing reduction that we had before at level seven we've got the treant we had before at level four and then we have deep roots which was initially called something else and at level 16 um deep roots i think is the current go to um the roots you can see they're much larger um it also roots um doesn't root for any longer, but 
They also stay there for longer on the ground, so I think that's probably a go-to. Um, if not only because the initial radius is a lot bigger, and if they're slowed, it might catch up to them. Makes it easier to hit. I don't think the other two give that much benefit when all said and done. Level 7. Now, I think what we're going to be looking for here is... Do they have... Um, do they have a scary CC combo? And can that combo be negated by removing a stun? Not making anyone stun, but just removing the stun. Um, and if they have, then that's where Nature's Cure comes in. So let's imagine they've got an APOC combo. Now, this is fantastic for APOC, because as soon as you activate this, everyone who was stunned at the time is going to have their APOC instantly removed, and they can start fighting again. Um, so it stuns, roots, and slows. It's not silences, um, so this isn't going to affect taunt. So it's still not ideal, but um, yeah, it, it's it's okay. Now this one, increase the root duration of entangling roots by 0.3 seconds. When my phone is stunned, the cooldown is instantly reset. It's okay, but I don't think it's it's that amazing. Um, other than if they have like a dive comp. Let's say they have a Muradin um, or a Diablo then maybe this is something you can look for. If they have slow damage to follow up, if they have a burst combo where they want to basically dive and deal a lot of damage, then this isn't going to do much because you're going to die in that initial stun anyway, and the second route is not going to save you. Now, the standard go-to, if you don't think you need either of those, is going to be Wild Growth, which is a super fun talent to play with. Each hero hit by Moonfire extends the duration of currently active regrowths by one second. So, okay, you can see here, I've got uh, one active regrowth, I moonfire, and it extends the duration. Um, or at least it should extend the duration. It's not, uh, oh wait, I didn't take it. Um, and you can see it extends the duration. So if you look in the bottom left of my UI, um, I don't know what to my camera's facing. You can see that I'm making this regrowth last a lot longer. Um, now it's, it's, it's not indefinite, it actually ticks down faster, uh, than the Moonfire, unless you're hitting three people. Um, ju just, just enemy heroes that you hit with the Moonfire, it extends. Um, but yeah, that's okay. Now, Twilight Dream hasn't changed, it's the same very strong ability we all know, but, uh, Tranquility has got some love, so, 118 health per second. Let me quickly check the patch notes and see if that's more or less. Um, so duration has been reduced, cooldown reduced as well. Um, the healing was not reduced. So it heals slightly less over the duration, um, about 20% less, but it does actually give 10 armor. So honestly, I don't really think it's changed that much. I think Twilight Dream is probably still where you're going. Um, but the 10 armor, that might be enough to situationally put it over. I don't think so. So I'll personally be going for Twilight Dream. Uh, level 13. Let's level up to 20. So remember, we're going Celestial Alignment, Deep Roots, Wild Growth, uh, Twilight Dream. We're still going Ice Block most of the time, guys. Like, Hindering Moonfire, a very strong talent, especially with the new kit synergy that he does have. But it, it's, it's just not good enough. Uh, Revitalized, again, a strong talent. Uh, gives my fury in some small manner, uh, enough to cast basically one regrowth, one moonfire, slight, slightly more. Um, but m the main point is makes his his own cooldowns tick 50% faster. But still, I don't think they're competitive enough with ice block. So still gonna be recommending that. Uh, now when we hit level 16, that's where things get a bit more interesting. You can see. Increase Moonfire's heal by 15% per ally effect by regrowth. So realistically, you can probably have about 5 allies affected. Uh, that's 75% more from this heal, which we already established. If you are casting this over and over, then this is um, more healing. This is 60% of your total healing, basically. So Moonlit Harmony, a very strong talent. Um, when you're increasing 60% of your healing by 75%, you, I don't know maths, I can't do maths on stream, but that's seriously significant. 
Um, the one that I think I'm going to go for most of the time, though, is going to be Nature's Balance, which is increased Moonfire's area by 25% and Regrowth's duration by 5 seconds. So it just makes it a bit easier to have more Regrowths on um, your teammates and keep them active. But I think the main thing is that the range changes. So you can see, here's my maximum range. Um, so to hit this, I need to stand... I need to stand here to hit this, right? Well, if I take this, then my uh, range increases by quite a lot. So I need to stand... I need to stand here. Wait, what? I need to stand here. So, it's basically this much. Doesn't seem like much, but remember, auto attack range is here. Moonfire range is here. So, giving that an extra 50% further away um, on a chasing target is, in my opinion, very, very effective. So, this might not be as powerful as I currently think it is, but I think this is going to make my fear and fear a lot better to play. The 25% radius increase, like look how much bigger that is, that's going to make it so much easier to hit multiple heroes. And that's why I think this one is going to be so powerful in the, the go-to, basically. Um, Moonlit Harmony, very strong, and Ysera's Gift, the same talent we already had on the 16, also strong. So all three of these are good options. What was that? Nice gold. Ah, oh, thanks, Moon, for the seven dollars. Put me right up there to my ten dollar goal. Um, much appreciated, dude. And then level twenty is the last one. So, Astral Communion hasn't changed. It's, it's the same uh, strong blink talent we knew before. Life Bloom. Uh, Regrowth instantly heals its target ten percent of their missing health. So this is uh, quite effective. I'm James Baker. Hoshave, thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime subscription and welcome to the bakery. So you can see when you cast it, instantly heal for 136. It's not amazing. 136 is not a big number at level 20, guys. You know, I'm doing 196 damage with a Moonfire. Um, but on something like a Muradin, still going to be effective. Um... And since you are casting so many of these on a 5 second cooldown, it's still okay. Uh, Lunar Shower though. Um, this is a nerfed version of the Lunar Shower we already have basically. And it doesn't do anything to reduce the mana cost or help in any way really. So honestly I'm, I'm not liking the sound of either of these. I think I'm sticking to Astral Communion so far. Uh, each enemy here hit by Moonfire reduces the tran Tranquility. Um, so Tranquility's healing, basically, realistically, we're expecting a 40 to 50% increase on the healing. That's quite significant. Um, in my opinion, that's probably more significant than either of these two talents. So my final recommendation would be upgrading your ultimate at level 20. So one last time, here is my recommended build for my Furion. Um... Now, remember, everything's situational. I do recommend that you change things in certain situations. But on the whole, this is what I think you're going to be taking most of the time if you don't need anything situational. Lunar Shadow reduces CD on Moonfire, which results in more heals. Yeah, but more heals or Blink Twilight Dream. Or healing 10% of their health. Like... It's, it's not insignificant, it's okay, it's good, but I don't think it's going to be as strong as a Blink Twilight Dream. M maybe, maybe in some situations. But, you know, the ability to stand over a wall, just blink over, four seconds silence on the enemy team, like huge amount of damage, almost 800. I think, I think that's just too good. The group cleanse, my final thoughts on it, it's okay, it's, it's doable. Uh, you can make it work, but... The fact it doesn't remove stuff like Taunt, uh, I think, is a big negative against it. The fact it only uh, removes them, and if they have something like... If they have a second stun to follow up, this is going to do nothing against Diablo, for example. It won't do much against ETC, because he's still body blocking them, still dubbing them back. So, realistically, I don't think it's that great. Um, 
but it's nice that he has that option, and it will be good against some kind of Mjolding comps, against stuff like Kel'Thas, possibly Hanzo as well. Um, but again, like this is the build that I would expect to be seeing most games. So, anyway, that is the end of today's stream. Um, I will we'll keep you guys updated when these changes do end up going to the live server. Um... Wait, Luna... Hang on, let me test Luna Shower. Because maybe I read the tooltip wrong, according to Zelia. Um, when these changes do end up going to live, I will update you guys on what I think the basic build is. I'll pick some Minfire talents as well. Uh, okay, so Luna Shower. So... No, so it's only, it's one second off, so it puts on a two second cooldown. So if we just test it. And we'll basically, we'll just keep, we'll stand here for 20 seconds until the dummy goes off and we'll see how much healing we got increased. I really wasted an indicator so I could see how much longer I had on the regrowth. Okay, so if you moonfire on cooldown and you hit one target with each moonfire, okay, this healing's actually insane. Okay, so you heal 7.7k with this talent. Um, if you just moonfire on cooldown. So if we reset talents, uh, we'll take exactly the same things um, as we did before. Except this time we'll take uh, Serenity. And we're going to do the same thing. 25 seconds of stood here. I remember it, it was 7.7k, right? Well, I can't believe this takes so long. <laughs> what? No! Mouth has. He's ruined it. Mouth has actually ruined it. Okay, well. I, what was he doing? I can't believe he did that. What was he doing? Alright. 25 more seconds, guys. Okay. My free set. Are you ready? So, here we go again. Just gonna moonfire on cooldown. I can't believe you've done this. What? Dude, I can't. What was he thinking? So 7.7k was what it was before. Okay, it ends up at 5k. So 2.7k healing. Um, or 2.8k, I think. Basically 2.8k healing from this level 20 talent. So this heals 175%. Let's increase. So let, let, let's do some quick math, guys. So we do 175 times 8. 1,400. And then times that by 0 0.4. And per person, Tranquility, this upgrade is going to increase it by 560. So we're assuming 45 people. A uh, smarty of pants. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription and welcome to the bakery. Um, so times four, then. I'm James Baker. A uh, spazo nine six five. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription and welcome to the bakery. Um, so okay, so. 
This was on one person, assuming Moonfire on cooldown. I've changed my mind. I'm going to recommend Lunar Shower. Um, going to recommend Lunar Shower over Astral Communion. So. Is this the bird I wanted? Damn, I need to reset because I took Tranquility. Okay, so choose a talent. This is the build that I'm rec I'm recommending. Um I think being in this range is kind of unrealistic. I still think it's going to be very good. So yeah, this is the build I recommend for my Furion. I will keep you guys updated as uh, these heroes progress through their PTR life cycle and, of course, onto life. Um, if anyone has a link to that Rhaegar skin, um, then please...